first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number eight on the topic number system now we are going to solve some of the question that is based on the concept called finding a number so friends listen here so totally previous seven lesson that is basics of the topic number system so from this lesson number eight we are going to solve some of the question on this topic number system so if you take this lesson number eight finding a number it is most most important concept in the complete aptitude section right if you are preparing for any campus interview or bank exams whatever exam be definitely one question will be asked in the section that is finding a number Usually they will give some sort of uh, sentence like question. We have to read the sentence and we have to frame our own equation. For solving these types of question does not have any formulas. You have to read the question step by step and you need to frame a small equation and you need to find that unknown. In that equation some value will be unknown. So we have to find that unknown number. So that's the thing we are going to learn in this lesson number 8. So friends listen here. Before solving the question, you have to know one of the basic concepts. For example, if it is 17 minus 10 is what? 7. Yes or no? 17 minus 10 is 7. Everyone knows this. But if you, if you express this term in, in way of some sentence, for example, first number, right? I am just saying this equation or else this number in terms of a sentence. First number, difference second number is 7. Yes or no, we can say like this. We can say this expression as first number, difference, second number is 7. Difference is nothing but subtraction. So first number, difference, second number is 7. One way of saying this expression. Second way is the first number is 7 more than the second number. Yes or no, right? First number is 7 more than the second number. When compared to second number, first number is 7 more. Second way of saying or else the first number important important area the first number exceeds the second number by seven what is the meaning of it the first number exceeds the second number by seven the meaning is exceeds is nothing but more the first number is seven more than the second number so always remember that in the question if you find the word difference what you need to do you need to subtract in the question, if you find the word, how much more or less, you have to subtract. The question, if you find exceeds, also you need to subtract. So never forget these three important word in this number system topic, right? Mostly they won't ask you difference and more. They will concentrate more on the word exceeds. The first number exceeds the second number by 7. What is the meaning of it? The first number exceeds the second number by 7. The meaning is the first number 7 more than the second number. Right? First number different second number will be 7. Understood? This is called as exceeds. So this is enough friends. This is more than enough. Let me go with uh, the previous various exam competitive asked memory based question that is based on this finding a number. Question number one. So what is two third of half of 369? So friends, listen here, it is very easy, right? So we need to find two third of two third is what? Two divided by three. So which is called as two third, right? So two third of half is nothing but multiplication. So two third of half of half is nothing but one by two. So half of 369. So we have to find what is the number of it. Got it or not, right? So nothing but we have to read the question once or twice and we need to frame an equation like this and we need to solve the question. See here, 2 by 3 of, of is nothing but just now I have told it is called as multiplication. Got it? So 3 by 2 by 3 of, 1 by 2 of, 369. So I think we can cancel this. We can cancel 2 and 2 here. So we can cancel as 1 3s are 3, 2 3s are 6, 3 3s are 9. So finally, the number will be 123. So this will be the answer for question number one. Easy or not? Very easy, right? So that's the thing. You need to understand the question and you need to frame an equation like this. Question number two. So if one third of, one fourth of a number is 15, then what is the three tenth of that number? So first we need to find what is the number. And then after finding the number, we need to find for that number what is three by tenth. 
got it or not so first if one third of one third is what one divided by three so one third of of is multiplication got it so one third of one fourth of one fourth of a number right one fourth of a number we don't know what is that number so let me keep it as x so the of number is what 15 so friends understood or not one third of one fourth of a number that number we don't know it's an unknown number so let me keep that number as x so one fourth of a number is equals to 15 so first let me find what is the value of x got it so this can be done as so x is equal to 4 into so we can say this 15 into 4 into 3 got it so x is equal to 15 into 4 will be 60 so 60 into 3 will be 180 got it so finally we got the number that is x value is equal to 180 this is not the final answer why because at finally what we need to find is after finding this number we have to find what is 3 tenth of this number got it so 3 tenth so 3 by tenth of this number that is 180 so when you cancel 0 0 so 18 into 3 will be 54 so 54 will be the final answer for question number 2 so friends understood right so the initial equation is most important so 1 by 3 of 1 by 4 of a number that number they, we have to find that number got it so 1 by 4 of that number is 15 which is nothing but equal to 15 right so we need to initially find what is the value of x after finding the value of x according to the question we need to find what is 3 by 10th of this number so 3 by 10th of this number will be 54 so which will be the answer for question number 2 question number 3 so 1 by 2 of 3 by 4 of a number is 2 1 by 2 of 10 so what is the number so friends just see here 1 by 2 of so let me frame the equation so 1 by 2 of of is nothing but multiplication so 3 by 4 of so 3 by 4 of a number right that number is unknown so 1 by 2 of 3 by 4 of a number so let me keep that number as x so resultant answer will be is 2 1 by 2 of 10 so 2 1 by 2 is nothing but 5 by 2 of 10 so friends understood or not so 1 by 2 of 3 by 4 of a number this, this is nothing but equal to resultant answer. So this answer is equals to 5 by 2 of 10. So our target is to find what is the value of x. So now we can solve it. So we can cancel this on 5 times 25. So 4 into 8. So 5 into 5 will be 25. So 25 into 8 will be 200. So x is equals to 200 divided by 3 got it so finally we can say that answer for this question number three the number will be 200 divided by three easy or not friends just we need to read the question and we need to frame the equation and we need to find the unknown number so answer for question number three will be 200 divided by three if you want you can convert this into a mixed fraction you can divide you can say 66 2 by 3 right both are same if you multiply 66 into 3 plus 2 resultant will be 200 by 3 so based upon the options we can convert the answer got it question number 4 so if the sum of two numbers one is which 2 by 5 times the other is 50 then the number is so once if you are, if you feel confusing read the question twice or even thrice to understand it properly right so what they are saying is if the sum of two numbers it's one sentence right if sum of two numbers if one number is 2 by 5 times the other is 50 just see here first let me take we don't know what is the two numbers first let me take the first number as x got it and the second number is what just listen here if we take first number as x then the second number according to the question one number is 2 by 5 times the other so if first number is x then the second number will be 2 by 5x got it or not so one number is 2 by 5 times the other got it so we found first number is x and the second number will be 2 by 5x so now according to the question if the sum of two numbers sum is nothing but addition so sum of two numbers is 50 got it so first number is what x second number is what 2 by 5x so sum of two numbers is 50 so we need to find what is the two numbers got it first let me find what is the value of x so if you find the value of x then finding both the numbers is easy so let me do one thing we can cross multiply it 5x plus 2x so divided by 5 is equals to 50 so 5 plus 2 will be 7x is equals to 250 so x is equals to 250 divided by 7 
so finally we got the value of x will be 250 by 7 so which will be the first number so first number is equal to x and now we got x is equal to 250 by 7 so we can say that the first number will be 250 by 7 so what about the second number so instead of x substitute 250 by 7 so 250 by 7 so when you cancel it so this becomes 50 so 50 into 2 will be 100 so 100 by 7 so 100 by 7 will be the second number got it so finally answer for question number 4 the two numbers are 250 by 7 100 by 7 so friends got it right so remember one thing if one number is when compared to other is 2 by 5 times so we need to assume the first number as x and the second number will be 2 by 5 of x got it so the first number and the second number and then after finding it the sum will be 50 so initially we found what is the value of x and then we substituted here and we finally found what is the value of first number and the second number question number five so if three by four of a number is seven more than one by six of the number then five by three of the number is so friends listen here what is the important word in this question more yes or no see here more in the beginning of the video, I have told you, wherever you find the word more, difference or exceeds, what you need to do? You have to subtract. So never forget this. right? So now what they are saying is, if 3 by 4 of a number is 7 more than, what is the meaning of it? So the first number, when compared to the second number, where the first number is 7 more. So nothing but the difference, right? So first number, difference second number is equals to 7. Understood or not, right? So I have see, I've told you the same concept in the introduction of this video, right? So first number exceeds second number by 7 or else first number 7 more than the second number. So all these cases, you have to find the difference. Got it? So now what they are saying is, if 3 by 4 of a number, right? So 3 by 4 of a number, of is nothing but multiplication of a number so that number is unknown so let me keep it as x so 3 by 4 of a number minus of 1 by 6 of a number so 1 by 6 of a number will be 7 understood or not friends how I wrote this got it so 3 by 4 of a number minus why I written minus here because it is more more difference exceed all the three cases you need to find the subtraction or you need to find the difference so 3 by 4 of a number minus of 1 by 6 of a number is equals to 7 so now find the value of x so i think this can be written as 3x by 4 minus of x by 6 so x divided by 6 is equals to 7 so let me take an lcm as 6 24 so 6 4 is 24 or else we can take the LCM as 12 right so 4 3 is 12 so this can be written as 9x 6 2 is 12 so this will be 2x is equals to 7 so 7x is equals to 7 into 12 so we can cancel 7 and 7 so x is equals to 12 so finally we got that number is 12 this is not the final answer why because in the question what they are saying we need to find then 5 by 3 of the number so for this number we have to find what is 5 by 3 so 5 by 3 of the number what we found is 12 so now we can cancel it 4 times so 5 into 4 will be 20 so 20 will be the answer for question number 5 so friends understood right so writing this equation is most important so never forget these three important words more difference and exceeds question number six if one by two is added to a number and the sum is multiplied by three so the result is 21 then the number is so when see here if one by two is added to a number so we don't know what is that number so let me keep the number as x so now what they are saying is one by two is added to the number got it we don't know what is the number so let me keep this x so now we can say 1 by 2 plus x so 1 by 2 is added to the number and this sum right so this total is multiplied by what just read the question and the sum is multiplied by 3 so this complete term is multiplied by 3 and the resultant answer is 21 so is equals to 21 so what is our target our target to find what is the number so for what we can do here is so let me multiply this this can be written as 3 by 2 yes or no 3 into 1 by 2 will be 3 by 2 so plus 3 into x will be 3x is equals to 21 so 3x is equals to 21 minus 3 by 2 so 3x is equals to this will be 42 minus 3 
so divided by 2 so when you subtract 42 minus 3 will be 39 so x is equals to 39 by 2 so cancel by 3 times here so 1 3 so x is equals to 13 by 2 so 13 by 2 will be the answer for question number 6 if you want you can write this as 6.5 based upon the options so finally we can say that the number will be 13 by 2 question number 7 so if 4 by 5 of a number exceeds 3 by 4 by 8 so what is that number so when see here by reading the question we have found one important word called exceeds so never forget the three words more exceeds and difference what you need to do you have to subtract the first number and the second number got it so here 4 by 5 of the number so nothing but 4 by 5 x got it exceeds subtraction right and the second number is what 3 by 4 of the number that is x listen here they didn't give you that 3 by 4 of the number but they have given exceeds it's 3 by 4 nothing but when compared to this number is 3 by 4 got it so 4 by 5 of a number exceeds 3 by 5 of its number right of its that is important so of its number got it is equals to what 8 so most of the students what they used to usually do is they will write 4 by 5 x minus only 3 by 4 so not to make that mistake again listen here 4 by 5 of a number exceeds its its is nothing but they are comparing 3 by 4 of this number got it so its 3 by 4 of number is equals to x so now we need to solve and we need to find what is that number got it so we can take lcm as 20 5 fours are 20 so this will be 16 x 5 fours are 20 so this will be 15 x is equals to 8 so x is equals to 160 that's it because 16 minus 15 will be 1 so we can say x is equal to 160 so this will be the answer for question number 7 last eighth question so the sum of three number is 2 the first number is 1 by 2 times the second and the third number is 1 by 4 times the second number then the second number is so once if you are feeling confusing then read the question twice and thrice right so try to understand the question properly and then try to solve the question got it so here the sum of three numbers is what two got it so let me take first number and the second number and the third number right so sum of three number will be two so now how they are comparing us this year where the first number is one by two times the second number so they are comparing the second number with the first number that is the first number will be 1 by 2 times the second number so now the third number is what how many times again the third number they are comparing with the second number so the third number is 1 by 4 times the second number got it so always they are comparing the first number and the third number by which number second number so what we can do here is we can keep the second number as x so now the first number will be x by 2 s yes or no because first number is 1 by 2 times the second number so we can say x by 2 so the third number is 1 by 4 times the second number so this can be written as x by 4 once understood or not so finally we can say that x by 2 plus x plus x by 4 is equals to 2 so first number second number third number all the three numbers sum will be 2 so now we can find the LCM so we can take LCM as 4 so this becomes 2x this becomes 4x and this will be x is equal to 2 so this will be 7 x is equals to 8 so x is equals to 8 by 7 so finally we got we need to find what is the second number so second number is nothing but x so x will be x 8 by 7 so this will be the answer for question number 8 so friends finally in this uh, lesson number 8 we have totally solved 8 important question that is based on finding a number so this is this is not at all enough you have to practice more and more number of question so nearly try to practice 50 or 100 question that is based on finding a number so only then you can able to crack the question in the exams so thank you so much for watching this video so if you really like it share the video to your friends those who are preparing for the competitive exams so thank you so much for watching it bye